What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the 4 for 4 Philly Fan Podcast. The Sixers are on a roll, as we all know, at a league-best 6-1 and one record. The Sixers are rolling, and it's a great sight to see. But I do want to, you know, also talk about it a little bit more. And, you know, just, oh, I love talking about the Sixers, so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. Now, the Sixers, as we know, are 6-1. and one. Last season, we were 5-0 and to start the season, and then pretty much instantly, they were, you know, just playing bad. They looked not as well as, you know, what we thought we would. Last year, when we, you know, departed from, J- when Jimmy Butler left, and we traded him, and we got Horford, and Richardson, and, you know, we re-signed Scott, and Ennis, and guys like that, I really did think that it was going to be a different season. I thought we were going to win a lot more than what we did. But then you had, you know, everything that happened in 2020, the bubble, and pretty much everything from then, you know, pretty much everything from what seemed like after Christmas and forward, the Sixers just fell apart. Horford did not work well at all. Brett Brown was a mess. Um, You know, Tobias wasn't living up to his pay. Richardson was inconsistent, but he was solid. Embiid went down. Simmons went down in the bubble. It was just a mess for the Sixers last season. And I really didn't know how they were going to, you know, really fix it. But then you sign Doc Rivers. You sign Daryl Morey. You get those guys, two basketball masterminds. And now look at us. We are 6-1, and one, yes. We have a, a very good record to start the season again. But I think this year is definitely a lot different, mainly on the fact that you now have Doc Rivers coaching you instead of Brett Brown. Now, I have been saying in pretty much every single video that I have made about the Sixers since the season has started that this team will run through Doc Rivers. This is the Doc Rivers effect. And with his coaching staff, this coaching staff is no joke. They are a legit threat to the NBA. And they, these guys obviously aren't even playing. But this coaching staff is legit. David Yeager, um, Popeye Jones, Doc Rivers, Sam Cassell. You just have got like a list of guys that are just very good at what they've done for a very long time, and that's coach basketball. And, you know, with Sam Cassell, he's won a title with Doc Rivers in Boston. And David Yeager, he was a part of the grit and grind Grizzlies team, and we know that. So I don't think that the things that happened last year – we're, are going to happen again this year. I think we're going to play a lot better. And look at the players that are, you know, around these guys, around Embiid and Simmons. They're shooters. Danny Green starting to find his his shot a little bit. You know, he's had double figures in the last two games. Seth Curry, he's had a couple 20-point games. He's averaging, you know, probably around 13 points a night. Tobias Harris is playing like an all-star. All, all-star. Eastern Conference Player of the Week. Embiid is playing at an MVP level, not even needing to get all the minutes that we know he should be getting. And Ben Simmons is playing what Ben Simmons, you know, he's playing how Ben Simmons does. And even with all the trade rumors and everything that has basically happened with this guy, he still continues to play the way that Ben Simmons plays. And that's at an all-star level. And he's helping this team win basketball games. And then you look at the bench. Tyrese Maxey is a legit player in this league already at a very young age. He's from Kentucky. The kid can play ball. And, you know, John Calipari, he basically said, like, you know, a lot of teams made a mistake on passing on Tyrese Maxey. You know, some guys had him in the top 14 draft picks. And he fell to us at 21. And, you know, from what I've seen from this kid so far, he, he shot a couple threes yesterday. He made a couple threes yesterday. He's a very fast player. He can get around guys. He's shifty. He can just do it all. He's he's fast and quick, you know. He, he can run the floor, but when he's making the moves, when he's dribbling, he's a quick guy. And, you know, I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing from, from Tyrese Maxey. Matisse Thibel starting to get back together. This team, it just looks like a legit team they look legit and that is pretty much the word of this video is legit you have a legit coaching staff legit team legit bench starters a president of operations 
everything is flowing correctly right now. And then you look at the other teams, Boston, uh, Milwaukee, Miami, you know, they're losing games left and right to, you know, Brooklyn lost to the to the Hornets. We just smacked them by, what, 32 points combined the, over the last two games? Uh, you know, uh, Boston just lost to Detroit. They're the worst team in the league, I would think. Milwaukee got blown out by the Knicks. You know, yeah, we did lose that one game to the Cavaliers, but guess what? We didn't have our best player. These guys still have their players in. And I guess Boston doesn't have Walker in, but they haven't had him all season. So I'm I'm very, you know, obviously I'm very excited, you know, with this team right now. I, I'm loving watching them play. I think they are doing a very good job. I think this Doc Rivers effect he is taking a big toll on these guys, especially Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. The Sixers are rolling right now, and it's flowing basketball. You are, sh- you are passing all around the arc of the three-point line until you find the open guy. And Bede has been a lot, a lot better on double teams, better than I have seen him in his entire career. And he has been dealing with double teams every single year of his career. You know, we haven't seen something like this since the Marco Bellinelli, J.J. Redick Sixers with the shooters that we have on this team. Shake Milton can shoot the rock. Um, Furkan, you know, when he plays, he can shoot. You have shooters everywhere. Seth Curry's the second greatest of all time, percentage-wise. Danny Green, he's a three-time champ for doing exactly what he is doing now. Three and D. Tobias Harris is just playing at the best basketball that I've ever seen Tobias Harris play in the NBA. And, and he's playing great. I'm loving every second out of Tobias. I really, really am enjoying watching him play basketball. You know, especially a lot more than last year. Last year, again, it it was torture from Embiid down to whoever. It was torture. But this year, it's just a lot different. I like this team. This team is fun to watch. I, I can expect things, and they actually happen. Did I expect... The Sixers to lose either of those games against the Hornets? No, I didn't. And that's and they didn't. They didn't lose either one of them. And that's what good teams do. They beat the bad teams. They they compete with the good teams and they beat the bad teams. And you saw with the Raptors, who are again, they are very they are struggling right now a lot. One and five. But they are still a good team in this league with a very good coach and Nick Nurse. And we were down double figures multiple times in that game. And we came back and won. And that is a big difference from last year. You know, with Doc Rivers and to Brett Brown, it's a big difference. And that game, to me, proved it. Also in the Washington game, it proved it. Now, we didn't know what that Washington was going to be this bad to start the season. I thought that Washington was going to definitely be in the playoffs. And, you know, game one, again, we were down. We were going back and forth, trailing some of the game, winning some of the game. But in the end, we come back down and we win it. We win the game. We are taking charge at the end of games. Something that I have not seen with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons on the floor together. They did not win these games that were this close against the Wizards and the Raptors. They don't win those games last year. And I can honestly say that pretty comfortably. But this team, this team is just fun. They are fun to watch. I'm loving every second of it. Embiid, Simmons, Harris, you know, those that that's the trio that Daryl Morey is running this team around. And it shows because everything is just working. Everything is flowing, flowing basketball. And even when those guys aren't out on the floor and we have the entire bench unit in with Dwight and Shake and Maxie and, you know, guys like that, they still play well. Doc is always coaching. He's always getting on players. He's always doing this, always doing that. Doc Rivers is a very big reason on why this team is playing as well as they are. And I'm very, very thankful that he and Maury are on this team. Because without those two, this team might be exactly where the Phillies are. And that's nowhere to be found. Mediocre, just a mediocre team. But I'm glad that the Sixers are rolling we are 6-1. and one. We have a back-to-back against Washington and the Brooklyn Nets Wednesday and Thursday. 
and then we have the Denver Nuggets on Saturday, three o'clock. I can't wait. I'm. I really do want to try and live stream one of these games, do a play by play for you guys. Um, I'm gonna try to definitely do one or two of them, if not all three. But you know, with that being said, I just wanted to hop on here. You know, talk to you guys about the Sixers, give you guys what I've been thinking. Basically, just giving you a breakdown of the season so far. But with that being said, thank you all so much for tuning in to the 4 for 4 Philly Fan Podcast. I appreciate all of you guys that tune in every day. If you are new, though, and you would like to help out the channel, make sure to subscribe. It does help out. Also, leave a like on this video. You know, it's always I'm always welcoming new people in. I, I appreciate every single person that watches my videos. Subscribed or not subscribed. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I am out. Peace. Sixers, Wizards, tomorrow. Let's get it, baby.